Hi, Tyler from Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to talk about a headphone that I uh, kind of have mixed feelings about, actually. Um, and that is the V-Moda Crossfade Wireless Bluetooth Headset. This is from V-Moda. It's uh, $299 or $300, sorry. Um, it's a very nice headphone, like all V-Moda headphones. It has shares a lot of uh, in common with, uh, for example, the V-Moda M100 that I liked a lot for bass heads. Um, and you can see that they're quite similar looking. You can uh, get other shields for this headphone. In fact, they now have a program where you can get um, 3D shields printed, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> the um, Crossfade Wireless does come with a wire, and you can attach it uh, to the headset on one side, unlike the M100, which has connections on both sides. But on the uh, Crossfade Wireless, the other side is for the uh, USB power connection to charge the batteries in the headphone for when you use it wirelessly. Um, unusually, uh, the uh, V-Moto Crossfade Wireless uh, does sound very, very similar when you use it wired passively with the power off or when you um, use it over Bluetooth. So this is a, actually maybe more than any other headphone I've heard does a great job of going from wireless to wired without changing its sonic characteristic. Of course the cable that comes with it is uh, very typical V-Moda cable with its 45 degree angled connector and uh, the microphone is high on the cable where, where the remote is lower down the cable. These guys just do really a great job with their accessories. It also ha comes with the, the hard sided case as you can see here. <clears throat> the only thing it um, lacks um, in my mind is the click fold mechanism. This is the M100 and you can see that it folds up the um, the wireless, the crossfade wireless, does not have any folding features, and uh, it makes a big difference in how small the package is once it's packed away. As you can see, the uh, M100 can get quite a bit smaller in its carrying case. <clears throat> now, onto the issue of sound quality. The, mode, the, the Crossfade Wireless sounds quite a bit like the Crossfade uh, LP or the M100. It's a little bit brighter than the M100, but, but quite close sounding. I did take measurements, and if you go to innerfidelity.com, the link is below this video on the YouTube channel. You can read the whole video, and in it I do have some measurements of the M100, the LP2, the LP and the uh, Crossfade Wireless, and they're all very, very quite similar. They're not exactly similar, similar, and they don't sound exactly the same, but they're, they're characteristically quite similar um, in that these have a strong bass, probably 5 dB too much bass in my view. The bass accentuation goes up to about 300 hertz, where in my mind any bass accentuation should not go above about 150 hertz. So these headphones do sound very warm and, and uh, um, bloom out the, the lower mid-range uh, too much for my ears. Um, they also have a little bit of a, too much accentuation at 3.5K. There should be some on the raw frequency response curve because the ear does amplify that area around 3.5K. But these are a little bit too much and um, although above... 3.5K, between 3.5K and 10K, they're a bit recessed in that region, so they're not overly bright or harsh or aggressive. They're just a bit sparkly up on top, maybe a bit excessively sparkly up on top, maybe just a bit uneven up on top. Now, the problem that I have with the whole concept is that V-Moto calls this their modern audio file curve, and I call it not neutral. I call it sort of a V-shaped curve, too much bass, a little accentuation in the treble. Um, and so I have a hard time recommending these for music listening. They're just, it's just too much bass in them for me. Um, maybe a bass head would be alright with it. Um, 
but even there, the base bleeds a little bit too much up and in the mid range, uh, and and may get a, a bit too woolly sounding. Uh, at any rate, um, on the other hand, for movie listening and for telephone calls, they work just fine. I've found that for movie listening, uh, some bass accentuation is good. Um, gives vo voices a sense of weight, and you can hear the pace of the dialogue a little bit better when the voices have a little more weight um, in their low end. Uh, and then in the treble, having a little bit of sparkle but not overly assertive in that 6K area um, causes these headphones to, to give good speech intelligibility but not to be too harsh during crashes or wind or any of these kind of sounds that can get overly aggressive. Uh, and since they sound essentially the same on the cable or uncabled, your experience doesn't change when the battery runs out. And that's quite unusual. Um, so, I mean, build quality, comfort, and all that stuff is great. Sound quality on a, on a, on a phone or on an iPad for movie watching is very, very good. And if that's what you're going to primarily be using it for, I, I'd say they're dandy in that regard. I have a pair of Sennheiser Momentum wireless headphones that I use all the time. And I found the sound quality on these uh, for movie and telephone listening a little bit better than the Momentums, which have kind of a hard sound that I've never gotten used to entirely. It's just, it's just a little too hard sounding all the time, whereas these don't have that hard character. On the other hand, uh, when listening to music, um, I just kind of can't get best. That bass, you know, too much bass kind of thing. So, I guardedly recommend them to folks who love bass and folks who are going to use their headset primarily as a headset for movie listening and talking on the telephone and stuff like that. It works just dandy for those applications. But if you're going to do a lot of music listening and you're not a bass head, then I think you should look elsewhere. Um, and now I've forgotten the name because it's just changed, but in the uh, video review, uh, or in the review on interfidelity.com, I'll recommend a uh, $51 wireless headphone that actually sounds quite a bit better than either of these or the Sennheiser Momentum Wireless. Um, and uh, so if you're listening strictly to music, um, those are probably the way to go. All right. Um, so have a listen to these before you buy them and see if uh, you're going to be okay with the bass boost. Otherwise, um, uh, they're a, a, a pretty strong headphone in terms of its other qualities and characteristics. So um, it's worth an audition. Um, but uh, I'm not going to recommend them wildly because just a bit too much bass in there. Um, this modern audio file tuning just doesn't do it for this modern audio file. Okay, till next time, I'll see you around.